You need clear objectives that describe the intended outcomes of the learning and set expectations for all pupils. I find pupils respond better if I give a clear signal when I want the class's attention. I stand where they can see me and I try to make eye contact with them all as I speak, especially the quieter ones or those who have trouble paying attention. I try to make instructions as clear and simple as possible so that all pupils understand and I scan the class to check that everyone is keeping up. When I'm explaining, I use a range of questions to check pupils' understanding. This helps me to know if I need to review something with the whole class and gives me an indication about which pupils might need extra support as the lesson progresses. OK, Year 8. Ready to listen? Thank you. You did some very good work last time on the sum of the angles in a triangle. And today, we're going to start by visualising some two-dimensional shapes. Now, we've done this before, so you all know that it means closing your eyes. OK, so... Eyes closed. C concentrate, please. Now, imagine a large white equilateral triangle. Now imagine a small black equilateral triangle and push this triangle into one corner of the large triangle. Now two more small black equilateral triangles and put these in the other two corners. Now keep your eyes closed now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to draw the shape that you can now see on your whiteboards. Can you still see it? OK. Open your eyes and draw the shape. OK, hold up your whiteboards and show me your shapes. Good. Lots of different shapes to choose from. Billy, what shape did you have? A triangle, miss. Good, good. Peter, what about you? I can't remember what it's called, miss. They did well in the visualisation today. I remember when they used to be really silly and giggly doing...